Hey guys, I'm back with part 9 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. Here in this video, we're going to go ahead and finish the build. All we have left to do are the interior furnishings for the second and third floor of the house. So I have some sea lanterns and iron trap doors. And I'm just going to go through the second and third floor and add some lights in the ceiling. So pretty much just add as many until you feel like there's enough light. So I went through and did all the lights for the house, for the rest of the house. So I'm going to head back down here to the second floor. We'll go ahead and decorate each hallway. So we'll probably just have some carpets and a little table. And that's about it. We're not going to have much in these hallways. We don't really need much. And then I'll start doing these bedrooms and bathrooms. And then we'll do the bedrooms and bathrooms for, this, for the third floor. Not the second floor, the third floor. And um, yeah, and... Then we are done with the build. So we'll start over here. I'm just going to get right on into it. I'm going to freestyle this uh, because I didn't really do any of the decorations for the second or third floor of the house at the original build. I did like one of the bedrooms on the third story, but that's about it. So I'm just going to get right on into it. And um, yeah, I'll go slow enough so you guys could follow along. So here in the hallway, we'll just go ahead and cut out a hole. And this will be where a carpet's going to be. So we'll go ahead and fill this in with sea lanterns. This will give off the rest of the light that's going to be needed here for these rooms. And we'll maybe... Should we have another carpet over here or just a table? We'll go ahead and just have like a table right here. Pretty much all these little spaces are for. It's just so you can access these balconies to the backyard. That's about it. I was originally going to have like this entire side of bedroom and have like a balcony access from the bedrooms but i didn't end up doing that and the way it is now is the way i ended up doing it uh it just worked out better and now let me go ahead and just grab let's see how about we'll try to get some color how about the cyan maybe even the green and then the gray i'll switch it up i normally don't use the blue and the green together so maybe something like that, and then the rest of it gray. Or actually right here, let's go ahead and maybe have light gray. That's a little bit different than what I would normally do for the carpet. Different colors. And then let me go ahead and grab some quartz stairs. Maybe some quartz slabs. We'll shape out a table right here. So how about... How about we have a stair like that, and another one there then a slab and a stair there. And I think that's good. And now on top of that, we'll put a lamp to give off light. So we'll grab an end rod. And how about just a regular, maybe like light gray concrete uh, block. So I have a lamp right, oh, whoops, right there. On top of this, I'll just simply have, here, let me go ahead and clear that. I'll just have a, um, I'll just have a flower pot with a fern. Or actually, I was going to say flower, but yeah, we'll go ahead and grab a fern. Why not? There we go. And then one last thing, just to add a bit of extra detail, we'll grab this birch trap door and an item frame. We'll have just like a drawer right here where the slab part is. And I'll go ahead and leave it like that. You could add like a little skeleton skull or something right here. Maybe another flower pot. It's up to you. But I'll leave it like that. Nice and simple. Uh, right here, just so that we have a little bit more going on. Let's go ahead and have two sea lanterns in that hole. And we'll cover this up with some paintings. We'll have two small paintings. Okay, so just a painting right there. And then we're going to need to do that. And there we go. Just two small ones. Instead of just having that same two block high one. All right. So there we go, that's all cool. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna do for the decorations on that side, just to kind of fill it in. 
it's a bit empty. We'll do pretty much like the same exact thing over here, except we'll have different decorations on that table, maybe a different table design and different colored carpet. So let's fill this in with sea lanterns. And then I'll probably end up using the gray and we'll have white this time instead of that light gray. And then how about red and orange? So I have maybe gray like that, then red right there, orange right there, and white like that. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then just a table over here. Let me go ahead and grab some of the blocks from over here. So just like quartz slab and the quartz stairs or uh, stair and slab. I will grab the same blocks here. So like the end rod and the light gray concrete block for a lamp. Let's try to come up with a different design over here though. So how about, oh, um, I think I have it. So I have a stair like that, another one there, a slab, and then a stair like that. Okay. And then... We'll have an end rod with the light gray concrete block. And then we also need the item frame and the birch trap door for a little drawer. And then we'll go ahead and grab a flower pot and maybe the lily of the valley. That's cool. And there we go. And uh, yeah, now we have that little side decorated. Looking all good. I'm thinking, should we add... How about like another little table right there? Looks a bit empty. So like that. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. The same exact table is fine. And then on that, we'll just have like another flower pot, maybe a blue orchid. So we'll do, we'll put it right there. And I'll grab the wither and regular skeleton skull. On this side, we'll have the wither one. On this one, we'll have the regular skeleton skull. So what I had it right there. Yeah, okay, and then instead of the blue orchid, let's go ahead and have, how about just a white tulip? Okay, oh, you know what? We can have a bush right here in the corner. That that's, works pretty good. Okay, let's grab the jungle log, uh, jungle trap door, and oak leaves, which should be right there. Okay. So just have this right here in the corner, like that. Let's go to this side, we'll do the same Oh, wait, what the heck? Wait a second. Oh, I, I, I shifted that over. I thought I messed up or something. I thought I was uneven. Okay. I actually, yeah, I meant to put that table lined up with the window. But let's have it off center like it is on this side. And let me grab that and that. And then we need the flower pot. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. We want that bush in the corner. So, let's go ahead and shift this over. Like that, and then, oh, I need the wither one, dang it. <laughs> okay, and, oh, wait, why did I grab that flower too? What the heck? Okay, let me grab the blue orchid. We do have some blue orchids outside in the window, uh, but it's all good, I guess it's fine. And then the wither skeleton skull, and then right here in the corner, the bush. Ah, oh, dang. Now I'm messing everything up. Ah, oh, man. Everything's breaking. What did I have there? Just, uh, stare in this direction? Yeah. Okay. That's a lot better. We decorated that pretty good, actually. Okay. Oh, and a painting right here. And then we are done with the hallways. Alright, so let me go ahead and just grab this one. And you know what? We'll just have, like, the regular one. Like that. That's cool. Okay, now we have the hallways done, and I'm gonna head on into this bedroom first. So once again, let's just jump right on into it. Maybe just grab some blocks of quartz, uh, quartz stairs and quartz slabs. And we'll have, let's see, what if we have that? Is this gonna be enough space? So let me go ahead for this room. We'll maybe have, what color did I have in this one? Was it blue walls? Okay, so we'll have a blue bed in there. Or maybe we'll have a light gray and a white. Over here we'll have gray and maybe a stripe of green. 
So let me see first if this bed is going to work well in this direction. So if we have that and then the footboard would be right there, then we only have one block of space. Uh, I don't want it to be that filled in. We could have the bed on this wall. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll have it, uh, let's see. Yeah, just right in the center of this wall. So I we'll have a little headboard here with three blocks of quartz, a quartz stair on each side and the upside down one in the middle with the slab on top of that middle one. Then we'll have two rows of gray concrete like that, then a row of green and then gray. Then here, for the footboard, just court stairs, three like that, curving together, and some slabs like that. So when we walk into this room, the bed is right there. That gives us enough space. That's cool. And then let's grab the snow. And I always mention this. If your snow melts, feel free just to grab some white carpet and fill it in here. And then we have a perfect amount of space to have some small nightstands on each side of the... Uh, Actually, should we switch it up a bit? How about like that with a uh, stair like that, or maybe a stair like that and then a slab. So we'll have a slab right there. That's cool, that's a little bit different. And then let's go ahead and grab the birch trap door and the item frame, we'll have it right there where that slab is. And then we'll go ahead and grab the end rod and the green concrete to match the bed. We'll have some lamps right here. And if your snow wasn't melting before, it's most likely going to now because of the lamp here. For whatever reason, my snow literally just like never melts. So I never have to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, if your snow melts, you could just easily use some white carpet here. It works the same. Let me go ahead and show you maybe what that looks like. I haven't actually taken a look. So let me see if it still looks good. Alright, so I have the white carpet. Yeah, it still works. Still looks just like pillows. You just can't add the different layers like that. Or like that, whatever, you know. But it still works. Should I have two layers like that from now on? We'll have two layers like that. I guess that's fine. Okay. Uh, over here, we'll probably just have a desk, and over here maybe just like a storage area or a table. Yeah, a storage area. And then right here in the middle we'll have a carpet. But first, er, are we going to be able to have a carpet? Because we're going to have the chair right there for the desk. Uh, we'll figure it out. But over here, let's go ahead and add, let's grab the, like, the full blocks of quartz, quartz slabs, and quartz stairs. And we'll have two blocks of quartz that are three blocks in height. And then we'll have two quartz stairs side by side. And then birch trap doors. And this is just like a little storage thing here. Okay. Over here, let's go ahead and shape out a desk. We'll have a stair like that. How about just like a really simple one? Like a stair, two slabs, and then a stair. Just very simple like that this time. Should we make it a little bit smaller? Is this a little... Hey, let's make it uh, just three blocks wide. So a stair, slab, and a stair. So it's not so crowded here when we're walking through. And then we'll have a chair like that right where the slab is. Or like a stair which is going to turn into a chair with the iron door. And then the item frames. So I'll have the iron door behind the stair. And item frames. And let me go ahead and maybe just clear that. And now, let's grab an end rod with a green concrete block. And then we need... We ever finished the decorations over there? We did not. Let's go ahead and grab a flower pot real quick. And how about some azure bluettes? And we'll just have these on these nightstands here. Okay. And then back over here, we'll have a lamp on the left side of the desk and then we need a uh not a weighted pressure plate just a regular stone pressure plate so stone button stone pressure plate and then we'll need a trap door you can use whichever one you want so um i always just like to use the spruce one and then we need a painting 
So we're gonna go from inside the window and we're gonna place the trap door on top of this gray concrete here where the window seal is. And then we're gonna go back on this side. Let me go ahead and place a quick uh, block there so it doesn't go off the side. And perfect, I like that painting. So that is right there and then a stone pressure plate and a stone button. So we have a little laptop going on. All right, and then uh, let's go ahead. Oh, perfect. We could have just like a carpet right around there. So let's go ahead and fill that in with sea lanterns. That'll give off the rest of the light for this room. Maybe add a painting right here for sea lanterns. What should we do on that wall? Should we have another painting? Is that going to be lined up? Oh, it is. Perfect. All right, right in between those windows right in the center. It's also lined up with the window or the uh, painting that's going to be on that side. So that worked out pretty good, actually. And let me go ahead and add, I'll do some small ones. So like that and like that. Okay, that's cool. And then over here. All right, we'll leave it like that. And there we go. I think this bedroom is, oh, and the carpet. Let's go ahead and have green and gray. And maybe just something like that is good. Should we just have, okay, that's fine. And there we go. And now if this room is done, I like it. I think it is good. All right, now let's head on to this bathroom. So once again, I'm just gonna freestyle it. Let's grab some blocks of quartz, quartz slabs, quartz stairs. And then we need a weighted pressure plate and a stone button. And then we'll need a trip bar hook, a lever, item frame, and some white stained glass panes. Let's go ahead and see what we got going. Uh, should we have the bathtub on this wall? And then maybe a sink right here, like right over here in the toilet there. Okay. So we'll have a bathtub with a total of eight quartz stairs curving all together like that. And then I'm thinking, yeah, we're not going to have a shower head here. So we're just going to have a trip bar hook with an item frame behind it too, like that. And then we'll be sure to grab a concrete block, a red and a blue one. So it looks like it's cold and hot water. Okay. Over here, just a block of quartz. We'll skip a block and have another block of quartz. Actually, we'll fill all this in here. So that's like more counter space. And yeah, we'll leave it like that. Over here, we'll probably fill that in as well. And then we'll have the toilet. We'll have a block of quartz, a slab, upside down stair, stone button, and a weighted pressure plate. So that's the toilet there. And what else do we got? We got to have... A lever pointing down with an item frame behind it like that. That'll be where the sink is. We're not going to have any white stained glass panes. We'll just leave it like that. It'll just be a bathtub. It won't be like a shower or anything. So let's go ahead. Oh, we got that there. Go ahead and grab birch trap doors. A flower pot for some decoration. Maybe the blue orchid as well. And how about a... Oh, we'll do this one. The azure bluette. Oh yeah, and then the hopper, we need a bucket of water. And I think that is pretty much it. Maybe a few other decorations. Oh yeah, then the red and green concrete. Or er, my bad, red and blue. Let's go here first. We'll have the hopper. And now be sure to crouch and place the birch trap door in front of it. Then crouch and fill that in with water. And then the rest of this right here will have birch trap doors like that. And then let's have a flower pot with maybe the blue orchid there. And another one with the azure bluette. And let's see. Uh, right over here. Uh, should we have something here? I'm sure we'll figure something out. Let's fill this in with the water buckets. And then we have the red concrete, which will be uh, that side. And the blue on that side. Okay, that's cool. What else do we got? Uh, right here, we could put a carpet in the floor. So let's grab sea lanterns. This will be pretty much like the main light source for the bathroom. 
and then maybe just cyan carpet. All right. Right over here, I'm just gonna maybe have like a skeleton skull right there. That's cool. All right. And there we go. We'll go ahead and leave it at that for this bathroom. That looks cool. And now we have this entire side all done. Did we forget anything here? I guess we could add some banners to make it look like a towel for the, uh, for the bathtub. So like that, that's cool. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. I think we're good over here. And now let me head on over to the other side. So we have this bedroom and bathroom to do next. Okay, I just have some light gray concrete, white concrete, and snow. So I'm going to go ahead and have the white concrete first. We'll have two rows like that. And then light gray. And then white. And then we'll have some snow for the pillows up there. And I'm realizing this now. Uh, this bed actually does not look good like that. <laughs> Just without a frame or anything. I'm thinking maybe if we add... Here, let me see. Let me go ahead and grab some quartz slabs. And just simply have it around the edge like this. And then actually right here, we could just have some nightstands. So maybe a full block of quartz on each side. And then an upside down quartz stair. Okay, I think we uh, fixed it. That's cool. A little bit different than what I would normally do. And then let's have an end rod. And we'll do light blue concrete. So it kind of matches the blue colors that we got going on in here. It's just a different shade of blue. Oh, wow. My snow actually melted for like the first time ever. That is like the first time I've seen that. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Uh, let me check the other side. Is the other side melting? No, nope, this side is good. I guess it's far enough. Or maybe it's like because it's a block back. But that snow is fine. So over here, I guess it's just a little bit too close. Let's go ahead and extend the nightstand here then. And now let's see if it's going to melt. Okay. Are we good now? I think we're good. And now I'm just going to go ahead and have here let me clear that we'll have a wither and regular skeleton skull on each side and then a flower pot for that other empty spot so we'll grab how about how about just blue orchids on each side match the blue theme that we got going and then up here i'm going to have a sea lantern and i don't think the snow will melt and then we'll go ahead and cover up that with some paintings okay let me go ahead and have a small one right there oh it did melt okay uh let's go ahead and get rid of that then i don't remember it maybe it's because it's two layers what if i had just one layer like that and then the snow i think it's because i would normally have a headboard right here so this would be out to like right around here so it's a little bit further from the wall. That's probably why it's melting. We'll still have a painting here. It just won't give off any light. Let me go ahead and add that back. Okay, we have three paintings like that. That's cool. It's just a little bit dark there, but it's fine. Okay. And now, why isn't that center? We have two spaces there. Oh, because of that wall. Huh. Huh. Is that how it is on the other side? Two spaces and then one? Yeah, okay. I never noticed that before, but it's, that's fine. Still works. So I'll just have... I was going to have a bush on each side, but I'll just have one over here. Let's just go ahead and grab the jungle log. Oak leaves and jungle trap doors. We'll have it right here in the corner. Alright. And I'll just have like a little storage thing here. So maybe uh, three, blo three blocks wide like that. Cover this up with birch trap doors. Then we'll have some decorations. So an end rod with 
the light blue concrete block again for a lamp right there in the corner. And then a skeleton skull and then a flower pot with maybe a white tulip. Okay, so let's grab the quartz slabs and quartz stairs. And we'll have a shelf like that. And another one right there. And we'll just have a couple decorations. So maybe a wither skeleton skull on that one. And then we'll grab a flower pot with maybe a lily of the valley. Have it right down there. And we'll leave it like that. And then I'm going to have a little carpet here on the floor. We just got to make sure it's not too close to that snow. Because I do still need a little bit of extra light. So we'll cut out a little shape like that. Fill this in with sea lanterns. I think it's far enough from the snow. It shouldn't melt it. Alright. And then we'll have cyan. And how about white carpet. That's cool. All right, I think this bedroom is done. We can maybe have a painting over here. Let me go ahead and grab that. Okay, fill in a little bit of extra space there. Could have like another one right here, but I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'll just leave it. And yeah, there we go. We have this room done looking like this. Okay, and now we'll head on into this bathroom. We'll do a bit of a different design than the other one. So let's have... Go ahead and grab just all the blocks. So like quartz stairs, quartz slabs, full blocks of quartz, what I would normally use. Then we need the lever, trip bar hook, the stone button, hopper, weighted pressure plate. And we'll also grab the item frame. Okay, I'll have the bathtub on this side. Should we have it right here in the center like that or in the corner? We'll go ahead and have it in the center. So just the eight quartz stairs all curved together like that again. And then, oh, okay, I know what I'm going to do. We'll have is the sink right there. So three blocks on that side, two over there. And then right here is where the toilet will be. Like that. That's a pretty cool design. Right here, we'll fill this in. Okay. So it's probably actually a better design than the other side. And then, let me go ahead and use all these other blocks I've got. Lever right there with an item frame behind it. We'll have two trip bar hooks right here. We'll have the colors for the concrete right there again. We need the hopper right there. And I think I used all the blocks. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab the birch trap doors now. And we'll probably have an end rod with a light gray concrete block as a lamp right. We'll have it on this side. Okay. We really didn't need that. That's more for like a decoration because we do have the light right there. But that's cool. We'll have a little lamp there. I'm going to go ahead and cover this up with the birch trap doors. Crouch for the hopper one. Let me grab the bucket of water. And then we need the red and blue concrete. We'll add those right now. I can't add them. Oh, there we go. There we go. Go ahead and crouch for that. And then fill this in. And now I'm just going to... Pretty much just have a couple little decorations. Just a couple flower pots, so we'll leave it like that. Let me also grab a banner as well to act as a towel. We'll have it right there. Maybe another one there. And then let's grab a flower pot. Maybe the blue orchid. And we'll go ahead and do a red tulip. So we'll have a flower right there. And another one right here. Okay. There we go, we have this bathroom all done. So we have the entire second floor of the house all done now. So we can head on, I'll just go to this side first. So this is the one with like the little hallway. And then the bedroom. So we'll do this entire side first. We'll head on over to the other side, do that one. 
And then we are done with the build. I am going to have one more video up after this one for this mansion, and that'll be the tour video. So, I'm just going to grab some quartz stairs. And maybe a quartz slab. Don't want that one. And I'll just have a little table here in the hallway. And I'll grab an N-Rod. How about like a yellow concrete block? I've never used that as a lamp block before. That's a little bit different. Add some color. We'll grab the birch trap door and the item frame. Have like a little handle right there. And then we'll carve out a hole here in the floor. Add a carpet. And then we'll pretty much just leave it at that for this little hallway that we got going on here. Go ahead and fill this in with the sea lanterns. And to match that lamp color, we'll go ahead and have some yellow carpet. Maybe some orange and gray. We'll go ahead and swap out the sea lantern. Okay, and I'll have it like that. And yeah, we'll go ahead and leave it at that for this hallway. You could add like a little painting here, but that's up to you. And this is all bright enough. Yeah. Okay. I head on into this bedroom now. We'll have the bed like right here in the center. And then probably like a desk over there. Maybe a little storage thing right there. Carpet in the middle. Paintings, decorations. All right, let's clear that. Let's grab the blocks. So we'll grab some blocks of quartz. Quartz stairs and quartz slabs. And then for the theme of this bedroom, we'll go ahead and maybe have red. And then let's grab light gray. All right. So let's make sure we're right in the center. We're not really going to be in the center for this one. So I would say let's go ahead and have the bed more towards the left side. So we have three blocks like that. A bit off center. So we're going to have more space over here. So we'll probably... We'll probably have... Huh. We'll figure it out. Maybe some chairs right there. Just like a little sitting area. Because this room is going to be pretty big. So maybe we can move this over one more. Then the edge of the bed will be right here. Then the desk and the chair. So that should work. Okay. So I have four spaces right here. And then I place these three blocks of quartz. Let's have the quartz stair on each side. Upside down one in the middle with a slab. And then two rows of red concrete, a row of light gray, and then red. And then right here, we'll have the three blocks at the end for the footboard. Add some slabs there. We're left with two spaces here, so that kind of worked out perfectly. I didn't think it was going to be cutting it that close. But there we go. How about a stair like that and like that? And then the slabs. No, that doesn't look good. Okay, let's just have a full block of quartz there and then... Uh, maybe two quartz stairs side by side. And then over here, full block of quartz, two stairs side by side. Then we'll have slabs right here. Yeah, we'll stop it there. And then a stair on each side. And there we go. Looking like that. Let's grab the snow. Go ahead and have that as the pillows. And then right over here, we'll have a desk. So probably a four block wide one. We'll have a stair like that. Then another one and then a slab and a stair. And yeah, that's perfect. Okay, then we'll have the chair right there. All right. What else do we got going? So yeah, over here, we'll have just like some couches. So let me go ahead and grab here. Let's get that red concrete again. And we'll probably have a chair like that. And, ooh, it's kind of blocking off the doorway. Yeah, I don't like that. That worked out pretty good, though, but... Maybe we could just have, like, a single couch over here with, like, um, a book area. So, like, a reading spot. Okay, so we have three blocks of red concrete showing right here. And then we have four showing here. And then we have that corner one right there. Go ahead and grab the quartz slabs. We'll maybe just have a couch like this. 
add a few more right there. How about a little table there? That's cool. We could still walk in here with no problem. And then I was going to have just like a little book area over here. So let's grab the bookcases or bookshelves. And then, yeah, that works out pretty good. And then on top of that, we'll probably just have decorations. So a flower pot, maybe a fern, and then a skeleton skull. That's cool. Yeah, I like that actually a lot. Okay. And then we'll probably have like a carpet in the floor, like right here on the corner of the bed. Let's head back to this desk. We'll grab an iron door and the item frame. We'll put the door right there, item frame on each side. And then let's go ahead and grab a stone pressure plate, stone button, and then we just need a painting. We won't need like a trap door or anything. So we will need a block so we can place that right there. Then stone pressure plate and the button. I have a little laptop there. And then right here on the corner, we'll have a en an end rod and then a red concrete block. So this is a little lamp going on. And then we'll have a flower pot with the lily of the valley. That's cool. All right. And I won't have like a drawer or anything. We'll just leave it like that for the desk. Over here, we will need some more lamps. Let's go ahead and grab these blocks. Do we got a lot of red going on here? Is it too much? Eh, it's fine. I like how it all matches. I like what I do that. Each room has like its own color going on. It is a bit much with the red. It could have been a better color, but I wanted to switch it up. I normally like, I don't think I, I think I've maybe used red like once in another build. But that's about it. Definitely never had a red couch before. Okay. Uh, let's have... How about just a wither skeleton skull on each side? And then a flower pot with... Uh, let's do that flower and the pink tulip. Okay, what else do we got? Pretty much just a carpet in the floor. Maybe a painting... Oh. That's only one block thick. We'll still have like a painting or maybe some shelves right there. Yeah, let me go ahead and grab these quartz slabs. We'll have three like that and another three there. And then let's carve out. Is that gonna be too close to that snow? Probably. Let's bring it in. Carve out a hole like this. And we'll bring it right there. Carve out these three blocks underneath the stairs. Then we'll grab light gray wool, like blocks of wool, right there. And then light gray carpet and red carpet. So I have wool like that. Let's go ahead and grab the sea lanterns and fill in the rest of this hole. Okay, and then we'll have red right there and the rest of it light gray. All right, that's cool. And now, add a couple decorations on top of these shelves. How about a zombie head this time? Maybe a creeper head, a flower pot with a, not a fern. Let's do the corn flower and the blue orchid. So, creeper head over there, zombie head right there. Actually, no, let's have the zombie head right there. And then the flower pot with maybe the corn flower on that one. And the orchid on that one. Alright. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for this bedroom. That's pretty cool. A little bit different. Got a couch in here. Alright. I think that's about all I want to do in here. I think it looks good. How about a painting right here? Yeah, and this is the... Let me go ahead and grab that. So it's just a little space in between the walls. Grab a painting. Grab this one over here. And yeah, let's switch it up. There we go. That's cool. That kind of matches the color of the room as well with that red right there. All right. So we have this room done. I think this looks really good. Head on into this bathroom. Go ahead and clear all that. 
grab the same blocks again that we normally use so blocks of quartz quartz slabs quartz stairs we'll use these for now so let's have the bathtub right here in the corner oh this is going to be cutting it close hang on so we have the bathtub there do we have enough space going on in here we're going to need the bathtub at the back wall we can't have it here right here we do have the window but this is the third floor to the house so no one's really going to be able to see through it anyway all right and then over let's see uh this side will have the sink right there and then over here we'll have the toilet so it's going to be a small bathroom but it still works yeah a very small bathroom but overall you can still get in here and do what you got to do Let's go ahead and have stone button, weighted pressure plate, trip bar hook, lever, item frame. Let's go ahead and use those for now. So stone button, weighted pressure plate. I have the lever right here with the item frame behind it. Over here, we'll just have like another bathtub. We won't have any, I guess we could have some glass, but yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and have the trip bar hook up there. So we have two spaces, and then on the third block, that's where that is. Then right here, we'll just have tripwire hook with a item frame on that part. We won't have another one, we'll just leave it like that. And then let's go ahead and grab some buckets of water. We need the hopper as well, and birch trap doors. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in the hopper. And we'll be sure to crouch when we place a trap door there. Two more right here. Yes, it's definitely cutting it close. <laughs> a very small bathroom up here. That's why I said the other design that I did on the other side. That's why I said I like that one more because that has like a bigger bathroom. But overall, it still works. We still got everything in here. Let's go ahead and crouch, add the water in that. And it's a little bit different than the other side. Switch it up. It's all good. Okay, let me go ahead and grab white stained glass panes now. And I'll have three going up right there, and then another row of three. Leave it like that. And then right here, maybe in the corner, let's grab the end rod, maybe a cyan concrete block. We'll have a lamp right there. And then we'll have the flower pot right there on that block. So maybe the blue orchid that matched that uh, concrete. Okay, so that works. And that's about all I'm going to do in here. So yeah, definitely small, but you know, it's, st it's still good. We got everything in there. All right. Head on over to the other side. And this is the final bedroom and bathroom for the house. So yeah, over here, this bedroom is still very big. And then we got a really big bathroom. So I think this design that I had over here is a bit better. But that side still worked. And I think that bedroom over there turned out pretty good. And I'm thinking what you could do is maybe shift this wall in so it's lined up with the wall right here. So you have the wall going right along here instead of there. And then you could get a few extra blocks for the bedroom here. And then the bathroom would still be really big. It would just be long. But that's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as it is. But um... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this final bedroom and bathroom over here next. Okay, for this room over here, I think I'm going to go for a green theme. So let's grab the green concrete. And we'll do, we'll grab the gray. And we'll go ahead and grab the quartz. So full blocks of quartz, wherever they are right there. Then quartz stairs and quartz slabs. And do we have enough space here? I think this is what I did on the other side. So let's say we have the concrete there, or the uh, quartz there, concrete, concrete, and concrete, and then right there. And yes, we have enough space. Okay. So yeah, we'll have the bed right here, and we'll have it, let's see, how about right there? How many blocks do we have? So six on that side, and six over here. Okay, so yeah, six blocks on each side. We have the three in the middle. Go ahead and have quartz stair on each side, upside down one. And then we'll have, yeah, we'll leave it like that. Have uh, two rows of three of the green concrete. 
a row of gray and then green and then three quartz stairs curving all together here at the end with slabs on top for the footboard and then we'll go ahead and have the stair there slabs and then right here uh, let's go ahead oh I know what we could do we got three quartz stairs all curved together like that oh no you can still see the space there yeah I don't like seeing like the little space right there that's why I normally try to figure out something here okay let's maybe have I guess just another full block of quartz like that and then a stair and a stair like that yeah okay so full block of quartz and then a stair like that and one right there slabs oh slabs right there stair there okay we got enough space going on here yeah we can still walk through no problem grab the snow for the pillows all right and um now let's go ahead and grab the birch trap door and the item frame we'll have just a little drawer going on here And then on top of these nightstands, I'm just going to leave it simple with a flower pot. Oh, not the grass, but maybe like a fern on each side. Yeah, that's cool. And then over here, we'll just have like a small table. So maybe two quartz stairs next to each other. Like that. We don't want to crowd the staircase though, but that works good right there. And then on top of that, we'll have... An end rod with a green concrete block for a little lamp. And then, how about just a wither skeleton skull right there. Okay. And then over here, is this one block thick? Um, yeah, okay. I was gonna have a painting there. Maybe some shelves here again, up against that wall. Let's go ahead and do that. So, maybe just quartz slabs. So I have like three there, and then go up and have four. And how about up again and have five? Can't really add anything there though. So how about, huh? Let me go ahead and grab some quartz stairs. Have that there and have that there and bring that in one and leave it like that. Or maybe a stair on each side. That's cool. Still walk in here with no problem. Go ahead and grab a flower pot. Maybe just put a blue orchid. Right there. And then up here. Maybe just a skeleton skull. And then let's add a few more little decorations. Let's have... Maybe a zombie head right there. And a flower pot. With a smaller flower. This one. So it's not getting cut off by the ceiling. Uh, we'll have it right there. That's cool. I like that. Alright. And then go ahead and carve out some blocks here. We'll fill this in with sea lanterns and then we'll go directly on this side and do the same thing. And we'll stop it. So we just have four blocks here. And then we'll cover that up with some carpet. With green carpet. And light gray. Yeah, that's fine. So green, here, let's do the green on the other side, like that, and then the light gray right there, and it looks like it, and it looks like it's extending underneath the bed and over to that side. That's cool. Alright, and then over here, I'll just have maybe a desk with a storage area, and that'll be the final thing we do here in this bedroom. Go ahead and grab full blocks of quartz, and some quartz stairs, and a quartz slab. So I have six full blocks of quartz there, and then a stair, a slab, and a stair there. So that'll be the desk. Let's have a stair there for the chair. And then here we'll just have some slabs. We won't have stairs on top of it. Let's grab the birch trap door, then the iron door, and then we need an item frame. We'll go ahead and leave it like that for now. So this will be a storage thing. And then we need the little decorations for the chair. And now we'll have just a little laptop here. So we'll need the painting. 
We'll also grab an end rod with a green concrete block. We'll have another lamp right here. Go ahead and place that. Can we? Nope. Okay. Go ahead and have the painting right there. Then we need a stone button and stone pressure plate. And the button's going to be sideways, at least for me. So it's still fine. You can still tell that it's a mouse. No biggie. Let's grab this sea lantern, or my bad, the uh, end rod and the green concrete block. We'll grab the stair. We'll have like a little table here to give off some light because it was dark in that corner. And that's good now. I like that. All right. So there we go. We'll leave it at that for this bedroom. Now let's head on into this bathroom. And that'll be the final thing we do here in this video. So uh, we have the court stairs already. We'll have like a little closet thing going on here. So we just have some stairs like that. And we'll end it off right there. With the little curved one. That's cool. What if we have that right there as well? All right. And then over here, we'll just have like a little... This could either be like a table, but like one of those little chairs that you could just like sit on. Maybe you're like trying on some shoes or something. Now I'm going to go ahead and just add some pieces of carpet, all different colors. And that'll look like pieces of clothes. All right. So I'll just have all of these on here like this. Oh, wow, that worked out perfectly. Okay, maybe we could grab the slabs, the quartz slabs. Just have them right there. And then we can add some more carpet up there. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Now let's focus on the bathroom area. We'll probably have the bathtub on that side. So let's go ahead and grab the full blocks of quartz, the quartz stairs, and the quartz slabs. And we'll have the bathtub just right here in the corner. And then over here, let's see, should we have the toilet there? Yeah, let's go ahead and have the toilet right here. Like that. Or should we have it here? I think I had it here actually. Let me figure this out. Should we have the toilet right there or over there? Yeah, we'll have it right there. And then here, we'll just wrap this around. And we can have like double sinks here. Okay. Maybe move that over so it's... Yeah, we'll have it right there. Just grab a hopper and fill each space in. Alright. And then birch trap doors to cover all this up. All right, and then over here, I'm just gonna have two court stairs. Looks like maybe just like a little table or something. All right. And let's go ahead and have a carpet right here. And we'll cover this up with sea lanterns or fill this in. And then let's grab, how about purple, light gray and gray. And we'll have maybe like a little pattern like that. Over here, let's grab the white stained glass panes. We'll add maybe six going up like that for the bathtub area. Let's grab some buckets of water and fill in the hoppers and this. Go ahead and fill these in. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the item frames. We need a tripwire hook and the levers. All right, let's go ahead and have the tripwire, or my bad, the lever right here. And then tripwire hook right there and right up here. Okay. And then right here, maybe just like a little flower pot with a fern. Okay, 
Oh yeah, and then the little things for the toilet. And then I think we are done. All right. Maybe another little flower pot right there. Maybe like an orange tulip or something. Okay. There we go. We are done with this build now. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for part 9 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. And that's going to complete the build. If this helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll maybe see you guys in the tour video.